Hi guys, so back here with the with the TL again. We got the front bumper off, as you guys can tell. And the grill, obviously. Oh, I'm sure you guys can see this uh, beauty right here. See how dirty this is? Oh, anyways, guys, this right here is what we're fixing today. So today, guys, we're gonna be fixing the fog lights. Finally, broken fog lights for for a while now, and today I'm finally gonna be fixing them. And so. What we're doing right now is, uh, since the connector for the fog light is uh, broken, we're just gonna splice it straight to the fog light. And anyways, so uh, yeah, here's what we're doing right now. And now we're just, we're taking off the plastic uh, covering to the uh, wires right here, and then we're gonna splice it directly to there. Alright guys, we got this part mostly done and now we are gonna have to do it to this even though one part of it is already done so we're gonna have to do the ground. Alright so we got this fog light part done now, now we gotta do it to that and then we'll put the fog light on. Indeed, um, investment in some T-taps is crucial. So bad cutting with the dull ass knife. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh yeah! Why are you recording fucking straight bro? Sideways. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so just take this out of here and prep these wires to be spliced onto the fog light. Make sure to not litter. Do. If I ever tell you I have some sexy ass hands? Nope. That's some model hands? Cause you don't bro. <laughs> Good I'm looks. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> they'd be lying if they said that shit too. Chill bro. <laughs> Hi guys, so we got Daniel here cause he's the GOAT. He figured this out. <laughs> All right, so we got them working finally. It took a little bit of um, work, and we had we had to have some help, some third third party sources. But it was just the fuse. It was just this fuse right here. I forgot that I hadn't replaced it because I replaced this one, as you guys can tell, is different. But this is for something else. And but yeah, it's finally replaced now, and they are finally working, both of them. And right now we're gonna put it. We're gonna put the. Uh, Fog lights back in the bumper, put the bumper back in the bar, and I have to do all that. Depot on the beat. boys up next <laughs> hi stupid boys K cash back in here we are going to be putting seafoam in the Acura TL so yeah. this video is going to be a little bit of a tutorial on how to put seafoam so today we're going to be putting seafoam in the TL and we're going to show you guys how to do it this is the 3.5 I'm not sure how the 3.2 I'm not sure how the 3.2 is but for the 3.5 you want to use this hose right here right next to the throttle body so this hose you want to get your own hose, but this should also work the same, technically the same thing. But yeah, so get that hose, and then you guys are going to have some kind of container, and you want to put 8 ounces of it. So since this bottle is 16 ounces, you know, approximately half of it. And now, what you guys want to do is, we're going to show you guys how to do it as we do it. Wow. Is you take this hose out of here, should be here. Or you just do it like on the side, like right here. Hi guys, so for now, you guys want to turn on the car and it's going to idle high, like a lot higher than 1K, so don't worry about that. But what you guys just want to make sure that you do is to not let the, um, don't let it suck up too much of the seafoam. So for now, you guys want to start your engine. Oh! So it's going to idle high, you guys want to grab this. Wow! Shut up, bro. Shut up. And just let it suck that up. Not too much. 
that you're an almost died. When you guys hear that it's about to die, you let it go for a little. I was just getting like, like OD smoke. But yeah guys, it's clean. As you guys saw all that white smoke, that's all the gunk that's in the engine. So that's you know, it all cleaned it out by doing that process right there. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys try this on your car. And um, yeah, that was it for that part.